Good day, ladies and gents. Welcome to another video. I'm your host, Bogo Zed, tech enthusiast, live streamer, gamer. The title is not clickbait. Live space is actually shutting down. Let's now jump on the computer and let's see why. Let's do this. Here we go. A couple of days ago, I went on live space to change up a few things in the creator dashboard and I was created on the home page by this. So let's have a look at it together. Today, we're announcing that live space will be closing on May 1st, 2024. Please read the letter to our community here. So let's click on it. Dear community, it is with very heavy hearts that we share that live space will be shutting down on May 1st, 2024 due to rising expenses and our inability to secure the level of investment needed to continue to scale. And this is an extremely hard decision to make. Since live space started as a small college project for musicians, the platform has grown in ways we never imagined while remaining completely independent after our official launch in September 2023 we celebrated milestones such as paying more than $30,000 to creators and hosting over 30,000 live streams our mission from the beginning was to put creator first and redefine industry standards to what platform should do for creators our small team included musicians, startup veterans, 25 plus years tax executives, and former Twitch and YouTube employees who came together to work around the clock and make Live Space the best home for creators and their community. We broke down barriers to entry with easy in browser streaming, pushed boundaries. With free 4K 60 FPS, low latency, and offered exciting ways for creators to engage fans with posting, paywall content, and shop integration. Our 85% revenue split to daily payouts and chargeback protection, we show the world our vision to treat creators fairly, regardless of following or income. We were excited about our next releases, including sub-second streaming latency directly from OBS software, which was in final testing. Um, okay. I will keep until the end. It's not long. It's almost finished. We know many of you worked hard to grow your community on LiveSpace and are truly sorry we cannot continue to support you. Together with you, Live Space has made a lasting impact on the industry and creative community. We were continuously blown away by your support and thank you for believing in us every step of the way and proudly bleeding magenta. Live Space lives on in every one of you and we can't wait to see what's next in your creative journey. Starting today, live stream has been disabled on the website but you can still access your profile social feeds and payment as normal until may 1st please see faq below or for further questions please contact support at livespace.com keep an eye on what comes next until then hashtag dare to be different the questions are pretty straightforward so let's break it down piece by piece. So they are shutting down the platform, right? So they celebrated $30,000 spent in 10 months, which is fair enough. For a startup, it's fair enough. And hosting 30,000 live streams. It's numbers that, honestly, since you're shutting down, they don't really matter. But, hey, you want to be proud of something, be proud of something. Our mission from the beginning was to put creator first. Yes and no. This is not a hate video, but I have to be impartial. So one of the things that gave me a bit of a red flag about live space were two. One was the subscription 
that they came up after a month or two. Do not quote me on the timing. That is, there was called Live Space Plus. There was designed for creators to pay X amount a month. I think it was 10 or 20 bucks a month to have more cloud storage so they could have more live streams saved up on the platforms and more customization. That does not benefit creators. If you make a subscription like this, it means that you want to exploit streamers. Just offer the space. I understand the hosting costs, but just offering a subscription to live streamers to have more space, it is a bit dodgy. And the second one was that they were selling their own merch on the website. We have seen it before because we've seen last year Brime and Glimash that they both failed after a year or two. And they were both selling merch on the website. And that does not benefit creators. Selling, whatever you sell on the platform, you're putting yourself in competition with the creators. Now, the small team, I understand that they had 25 year plus year tax executive and former Twitch and YouTube employees. Yes, you can have great stuff. But at the same time, if you have no backing, what I mean by backing is if there is no one pumping, keep pumping money into the platform, you cannot afford to keep going. As you can see, YouTube is backed by Google. Twitch is backed by Amazon. Provo is backed by Tencent, which is, if you don't know Tencent, is one of the major companies in China. And then you have now Kick, which is still a very new platform, but because it's backed by stake.com, yes, it's an online gambling website. I have my opinion. I'm sure you have yours. They have theirs. But that is to say that they have money, right? And to run a platform, a live streaming platform, you need money because hosting would basically allow you to send your video and hold the video on the platform. It's called hosting. Hosting is expensive. So you need someone that keeps putting money into it. So no matter what kind of stuff you have, if you don't have someone reach an investor behind it that keep putting money into the platform, you will not break even in the first year or two. You need a few years, and also you need the platform to grow in popularity. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. Now, they say that they broke down barriers offering 4K 60 FPS low latency video. Could be an achievement for a small platform. But keep in mind that Twitch and Kick don't offer it, but YouTube does. So it's not something completely revolutionary. 85% revenue split, yes. Now Twitch is going better and YouTube as well. So you have between 50 and 70% within Twitch and YouTube. Kick offers 95%. So then again, it goes back to how much money you can pump into the platform. And then we, we were excited about our next release, including sub-second stream latency directly from OBS software, which was in final testing. You're shutting down, man. You can say that you made the moon, but now you're shutting down so you can't give it to me. What, what value does give me? It just, are you showing off? And then regarding the rest, yes, it, it, it's a letter to thank all the creators that they made live base what, what it was until it shut down. So my final thoughts, guys. I understand that Twitch is problematic. YouTube is really hard to grow because you have a lot of competition, even more than Twitch. And Kick is still new, and you may not agree with who's backing Kick, so you do not want to stream on Kick. But bottom line is 
they are the only three viable options. Provo is still there. It's still a small platform. And I'm pretty sure it's three or four years old. And kicking one year, they just went ballistic because they have stake.com backing them up. My recommendation for you guys and for me as well is stay away from small platforms. Yes, it's good to be the first one inside a platform, to be the person who helps grow a platform. But unless there are some serious investors behind the platform, the platform has no chance of succeeding. Last thing I want to leave with, with you guys is, yes, you may have chosen Twitch, Pick, or YouTube, or all three together, but make sure that your content is top-notch because otherwise people will not watch it no matter what platform you're on. If you learn anything in this video, I would appreciate a subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So I know, and just leave a comment down below as well. What do you think of Live Space? Who do you think it's next? Because as far as more platforms, there is SharePlay still, there is NIM, at least for the Western world. I'm not touching the Eastern side of the world because I speak English. So the, the, the main platform that are still there, sorry, DLive. I forgot DLive. So DLive, SharePlay, and NIM. What do you think, guys? Which platform would be next? And do you agree with anything I said? Leave a comment down below. Until next week, happy creating, guru mates.